I'm a problem. 170, get ready, I'm a problem. I said it, man, you know, I'm the varsity guy, you know, my, my, my fight IQ is different, you know, it's something different, it's different when you're in the gym with me, but when you get in here, it's different ball game. I'm a whole nother savage. You still met him at the center of the octagon before the fight started and got right in his face. Why did you do that? Because that, that is a little out of character for you. This is my, this is my cage. I'm the undisputed welterweight champion for, for, for a reason. This is my cage. I don't care who you are. When you step in here, there's no friends. You know, he said it himself. He put himself there. He said it himself. I have something he wants, and he's coming to take it. So when you step into my cage, we have to go to work. And so from start to finish, there was no friends in there. There was no friends at all. I had to go in, and I had to do what I needed to do, and that's go in and win this title. And like I said, I, I am the best on the planet for a reason. Now everybody else, y'all need to put some respect on my name. I am the welterweight champ for a reason. I'm here to stay. Thank you what from who? And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup.
Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, he will never forget this experience, making the walk to that famed UFC octagon for the first time. But the question beckons. Will there be nerves? Will there be jitters under the bright lights of the UFC octagon for the first time? He doesn't look wide-eyed necessarily here, but you have to be mindful of a possible adrenaline dump that could really affect your cardio if you're not ready for it. our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Iceman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliata. Ready? You ready? Let's go, All right, here we go with round one. The UFC debut has finally arrived for this young man. It's a feel-good story, undeniably. He's got a lot of friends and family in the building. And given what he did on the regional circuit, the expectations are high that he can step right into the big show tonight and realize success immediately. Doesn't happen for everybody, but a lot of hype behind this young man. We'll see if he can live up to it tonight. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do them in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Right hand punch in the clinch. All right, early round one here. We've got an outstanding wrestler on one side of this equation. You gotta think he's gonna pursue that takedown early on. You gotta watch for him to get his head moving right away, change his level, shoot for an attack, and anticipate first line of defense and go to a second attack to make sure that he gets the fight exactly where he wants it. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Usman. End of the clinch. Now, let's see if they're going to try to find the takedown or... Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Both fighters back to their feet now. 69 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Well, certainly not just a wrestler as the champion Usman shows his boxing chops there, DC. Beautiful combo. Yeah, Henry Hoop has done a fantastic job with him. 
he's a pupil to Henry. Henry's taking him under his wing. He's taking the time to build this young wrestler into a great fighter. Man, has he come out aggressively to start this fight and landing at a pretty good clip too, connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body. Very technical striker, but tonight, really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch by Us. Starting to do some really significant... Oh! Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Big knee to the body! Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. Oh, oh. he flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my John, last round? Absolutely run? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Well, it's been his primary weapon of choice tonight. Another big elbow landed by Usman. And he continues to work here out of top position. Nice elbow there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, another huge elbow landed there by Usman. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Able to land the single ground strike there. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Great job last round. You had him hurt and almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, I want you to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face and throw power shots. Remember... All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. It almost looked like he went lift there for a second. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! Oh! What he oh! Huge right hand! Love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turn side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. 
Oh, get the cut man ready. Huge elbows raining down here. We could get a finish. The check. referee is getting closer and closer. He is going to stop this fight. Get yourself to the side. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Down into his mouth. Under three minutes now remain in round two. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Now Usman really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You got to hip escape. You got to do something to get out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. Knows how to control the hips. He doesn't give you any outs when he's on top of you. Scramble. Come on out. Get yourself up in a good position, a better position. Usman's going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 59 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by top out due to a rear naked choke, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Hushpa! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result. Pressure on it. 
Come on now. We're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice, nice job. Yes, I like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. Come on, get active. Now press forward. Anytime you want to throw it, let it go. Okay, time to work. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Omori Akhmedov and Kamaru Usman. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids 
that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Both fighters are 33 years of age, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of one win, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mekhak Kala, Russia, Omari Lekak Akbedov. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Great fight. Great. After a big win by submission his last time out, we'll see what he does for an encore here tonight. Huge victory. All oh, picks him up. He's got him up. Great wow. single leg. Put him down. You are a child, boy. You belong to me. Imagine being able to pick up another man and oh, say, you go here, bro. You go I, here. I can't. I I've done it before. John, I've done it before. <laughs> Oh. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh. oh. And really starting to make these shots count. Elbow's landing now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, he needs the body here inside, Mount. Nicely played. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Elbow strike there by Usman. Medov gets touched by another elbow. He's got to be really careful here. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Elbow landed there by Usman. Oh, big elbow. Oh, and again with the huge elbow, that'll change the complexion of this one. Big elbow there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. 
outstanding ground and pound. He's somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Back mount now. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, close guard now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Akhmedov. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh! Oh, big elbow! Huge elbows! Oh, and he lands another massive elbow. How does he take that shot? A lot of top pressure being applied here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the round two coming up next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Driving the back of the head. An elbow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! Oh, he might be out! Wow! Oh! Back to the feet! Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more. Oh, he just heard him, he just heard him. This could be a factor. That left eye starting to close up. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. And back to his feet. Nice knee to the body there by Usman. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on. Oh, he's gonna slam him, DC. Oh, man, he got that Whoa. single leg. He got that single leg. He lifted him in the air and he put him down. That is some serious power to pick up another man and prop. That is it. And that'll do it. He got it. What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ushpah! 
So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.
just wanna see heavy punches. Let it go. Yeah, that's it. Work on that boxing damage. I love it. That's how we work. This is when we put it all together. Great job. Coming up next, it's a welterweight showdown between the natural-born killer, Carlos Condit, and Kamaru Usman. Yeah. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Four years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of two wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. 
fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, the natural born killer, Carlos Condon. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go for round one. As many of you know, this young man won his last fight by knockout. No TKO, flush knockout for him the last time out. And now he is getting a shot against a truly elite fighter in this division. The question is, when the challenges get stiffer, will his game raise up to that next level? Throughout his career, when the challenges have gotten tougher, he has raised his game. That is exactly the goal in front of him tonight. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, now going to the elbow. Nicely done there by Usman. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, strong elbow there from top position. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Kamaru. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Usman's back in side control here. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's gonna start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Good work from the top here by Usman. Lands a big elbow there. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Big elbow there, Lance. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. So 57 total strikes. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Ooh. He's done. He's done. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh! Blocks the strike. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Rotates the lock and throws him way through the air. What a massive takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Condit. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. So a crowd-pleasing approach for him here in round one. He has landed early, he has landed often, and this is really the aggressive approach that Dana White and the matchmakers want to see. Nice start for this young man here tonight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. One, two punch by Usman. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman shows in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out. Oh! Holy smokes! Wow! Wow! 
Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Let's go. Hey. Here 
we go. We claim that position. That was nice. I like the way you drove from the hips and exploded into that takedown. Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, yes. That punch damaged it. Yes. Let's go. Coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Michael Maverick Chiesa and Kamaru Usman. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters right. you've ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point. But he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. 
He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Walter White division, introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington, presenting an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael Maverick Kiesa! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with round one. No denying the momentum that this young man brings to the table here tonight. He has won his last three fights, and if he wins a fourth one here tonight, oh, picks him up, DC! He's got him up. Great wow. single leg. Put him down. You are a child, boy. You belong to me. Imagine being able to pick up another man and oh, say, you go here, bro. You go I, here. I can't. I I've done it before. John, I've done it before. <laughs> Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, good work here to the body by Kamaru Lusman. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No one to hold him. No one to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Head movement. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here early. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. He's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Michael Chiesa. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. I don't like Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. You gotta move. Move, 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 move. Get yourself to the Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Lands a big elbow there. Nice. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, big elbow. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. 
Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. 81 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt a crowd-pleasing approach from him here tonight. Oh, goes for the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got his opponent who will carry back. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle! Watch triangle! to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes. And this might just be a matter of time. And that will do it. Yo, wow. That was nasty. What a fight. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened now. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.